Once your boiler is set up and connected to the electrical network, the only thing you should do is to start setting it up. To start a boiler, press the red button with one short click. Now, on your display you can see all the indicators and sensory buttons. The small indicators help you to understand which particular settings you want to adjust and also you can see the mode which your boiler is using at the moment. The biggest sensory buttons help you to change settings of different modes. Digital display shows temperature or error code if something goes wrong in the system. If the buttons which are responsible for general heating and the water heating are light up only for 50%, it means that none of these modes are working now. Let's try to set up the heating. To turn on the heating, press the button with the radiator sign with one short click. The heating system is on now. To switch or set up this mode, touch the button with the radiator sign and hold for 5 more seconds until you see the sensory arrows light up. With one of these arrows, choose a mode which you want to set up after. A drop sign means a setup of radiator temperature. A cloud sign means a setup of comfortable temperature in the building. Fire sign means a range of temperatures level which your boiler should maintain. It helps you to use electricity more sustainably. Let's try to set up the temperature for one of the modes, for example, the temperature of the air in the building. Use the sensory arrows to switch on a mode which has a cloud sign. To change the temperature for a boiler to maintain, press the button which has a gear sign. Once you did it, look at the cloud sign. It must shimmer. It shows that the mode is on. Now you can increase temperature using the up arrow and decrease temperature using down arrow. To confirm selected degrees amount, press the setting button or just leave it. After that, your boiler is supposed to remember and save your recent settings automatically. The heating is on now. Setting up the temperature in the radiators and heating system is the same. Your boiler is supposed to use that mode that you set up before. Let's try to set up D5 mode. This function lets you control range of temperature which you want to maintain in the room. According to the factory reset, it's 5 degrees Celsius. For example, the highest temperature that you set up for your boiler and which you want to maintain after is 50 degrees Celsius. It means that your boiler automatically stops heating once it hits 50 degrees Celsius. Also, it means that boiler starts again when it hits 45 degrees Celsius. The degrees range starts from 1 degrees up to 10 degrees Celsius. You can save the setting by pressing the button which has gear wheel sign. To stop setting up the heating mode, just press a button with the radiator sign with one short click. Now you're back on the main display. In case if you don't interact with it for 20 seconds, after this time it is blocked automatically. To unblock display, press the button with the gear sign with one short click. If you connected the water heating system to your boiler, you can manage all kinds of settings on this very display. You are able to start water heating by pressing a button with a tap sign with one short click. By pressing the tap sign during 5 seconds, gives you a chance to start setting up water heating mode. Using the arrows, please choose which mode exactly you want to set. A small tap sign helps you to set the water temperature in your boiler. By pressing a shield sign button, you can turn on protective antibacterial function. Let's set the temperature for water heating. In the upper right corner, which has the indicators, you must see a small tap sign which is light up at the moment. After, press the gear sign button. Change the temperature. Save the settings by pressing the gear sign button once again. Now, your boiler is functioning both for the heating of the water and room or building as well. You make it sure if you have a look at the signs which has changed. Let's come back to other signs on your display. Play sign shows that the pump is working at the moment, maintaining circulation of the water in whole system. Exclamation mark shows that the system has failed. House sign shows that your boiler is working on thermostat settings. When fire sign is light up, it means that your boiler is working on heating mode. And the last advice in case if you want to reset all Wi-Fi settings on your boiler. To reset settings on your boiler, you must be sure that all modes are switched off at the moment. 
Afterwards, hold the gear sign button for 10 seconds. Then, on the menu, press a button which shows P11 mode using digital arrows on the display. You switch on button to set up. In case if you want to reset settings, switch on the first mode and confirm it by pressing switch off button. All settings are reset now. That's how you can set up your boiler by using a display. In case of any questions related to operating a boiler, please do not hesitate to contact us by email service at techniques.pro. Thank you for choosing Techniques.